Lumos. Revelio. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. You've been practicing. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Revelio. Why don't you cast Revelio on the bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Revelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. How nice to see you, my young. You've been Revelio. <laughs> Revelio. Revelio. happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Revelio. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today.
And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I thought Professor Black would get rid of all the muggle-born students. <laughs> Too much to hope for, I guess. Black noticed the scuff on his shoe the other day. I would not take another step until a house elf polished his way for him. Horrid man. That was nothing. You should see the charm I've been working on. Willing to make the hard decisions. Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest in his. Powers should be kept in the oldest pureblood families, like the Blacks. We have riffraff running things. That's what my mother says. How much longer do you think Black will be headmaster? I have family in America. I wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. Revelio! being able to pop into Hogsmeade for a butterbeer whenever you wanted. Hogsmeade's no London, mind you. 
but it'll do in a pinch. My aunt says I should get to Hogsmeade as often as I can. Says it's good to get out of the castle sometimes. You can get all sorts of clothing at Gladrags. Not just common wear, either. I've seen rare garments there. Very powerful, I'd imagine. I can't say I feel the need for that sort of thing, mind. I'd be quite content with a new pair of socks. When I'm in Hogsmeade, I always pay a visit to Dogweed and Deathcap. Although, Madame Green can be a little fiery sometimes, so you definitely want to stay on her good side. The last time I was at Dogweed and Deathcap, Madame Green had everything from Dittany seeds to shrivel figs. Just be careful not to upset her, though, or she might set a venomous tentacular on you. All of the shopkeepers like me. I know they do. They always put a bit of something extra in the bag for me. I think they're drawn to my charm. Also, my parents spend a lot in Hogsmeade, but I don't think that's it. Accidentally levitated Professor Ronan's sandwich once. He was fine about it. Actually complimented me on my wand work. If someone says you have eyes like a demiguise, is that a compliment? If someone says something nice to you, it's only because they want something. It is possible to spend time with the mer people from the lake. The sorting hat took ages to see that poor thirsty from Upper Hogsmeade. Couldn't find a strong enough tree. Watch what you're doing. Rebellion. Rebellion. Handy resource in two pinches of Angelica. Revelio.
Rumor has it there's a secret passage leading to Hogsmeade, but I haven't found it. Probably for the best. I'd be at the Three Broomsticks all day. Just when I think I've learned how to get around the castle, a staircase moves and I'm lost again. Wish I could sneak into the other common rooms. Just for an hour or so. Pete was in a mood the other day. Tossed my quill right on Scribner's desk. Now I have detention for a week. Hogwarts always has another mystery to discover. If I don't find a way to concentrate, I'll fail my owls to the Why would Slytherin put his common room? Oh! My favourite room in the school is the library. It always smells of fresh parchment. Rebellion! Got a peek at the prefect's bathroom last year. Class for a week to soak in that tub. Revelio. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls.
Revelio. Rebellion. 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 Off on another adventure, are we? you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! 
A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise Levioso. Now, well done. Well done. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. This is not your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick lunch. You're good. How perceptive. I'm all nice to do this for this again. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Levioso! Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Nice work. Revelio. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. 
Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. Revelio. Struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Rebellion. Yeah. 
Revelio. Revelio. I talk about this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm now at a belt. It was a long time ago. It was an accident. You make your point. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellio. Young friends, fortune might not for the slothful. Revelio. Revelio. <laughs> Levioso. <laughs> Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Where she said I could swim, did you praxia mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meat. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp. Let me <laughs> trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his containment charms. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have to me swim! Whee! Okay, you Oh. <sighs> 
Revelio. What a lovely thing to have you walk by. Be sure to pass by at least once a year. Twice, if you can. Revelio. Revelio. Very good. Revelio. Now, artists, let us begin. Revelios. 